Hi, I'm Susan Bischel with the City of Wheaton. We're here today to talk about Make a Difference Day. So I have here with me Lori Swanson Oberhelman with the Community Relations Commission and also the Wheaton Chamber, mm -hmm. and Melissa Travis, who's with the People's Resource Center. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm going to start out by kind of introducing what organizations you're involved with and um, so people kind of know how those fit together with Make a Difference Day. Can you start with the Community Relations Commission? Sure, so yes, I am part of the City of Wheaton's Community Relations Commission, and we, um, we have several things that we are uh, charged with, I guess, the things mm -hmm. that we do, um, uh, including Citizen of the Year and um, Make a Difference Day, which is mm -hmm. probably in, you know, one of our um, biggest, highest profile things that we do with the community. Okay. So. And how is the Wheaton Chamber involved in Make a Difference Day? In the Wheaton, so I'm also on the board for the Wheaton <laughs> Chamber, uh -huh. and uh, I chair their um, philanthropic uh, event, which is Stuff a Truck. And so um, the city of Wheaton became a part, or started doing the activities for Make a Difference Day 12 years ago this year. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I joined the commission, I don't know, maybe four years ago? Okay. And while, and so I was, uh, when I was part of the commission, we, I started hearing about this Make a Difference Day, and I'm like, wow, why isn't the chamber doing something for that? Mm -hmm. So brought it back to the chamber. We talked about, you know, how we could um, engage our chamber businesses in something for Make a Difference Day, and out of that came Stuff a Truck, where, you know, it, that's really become, you know, not it's beyond chamber <laughs> businesses. We've got, you know... The school is, which is a chamber, you know, member. You know, the schools are involved. The the city, of course, is very supportive of the chamber event, along mm -hmm. with many other Make a Difference Day activities that we can talk about too. That, that okay. they did this year. So, so they're all kind of intertwined. They are. They're all involved in Make a Difference. Yes. Day. And tell me a little bit about the People's Resource Center for anyone who's not familiar with that organization. People's Resource Center has been in the Wheaton community since 1975, started by um, a group of concerned citizens who saw need in the community and wanted to, to fill the need. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've grown from serving 100 families a year to over 33,000 people oh, wow. last year. Um, we are a full-service social service agency. Um, we have food pantry, clothing closet, and we also have empowerment programs of uh, job assistance, computer training, ESL, GED classes, an art program, um, pretty much trying to help people get from needing help to self-sufficiency is our sort of our goal. Okay, and how does the People's Resource Center fit into this whole Make a Difference Day effort? We, we are the lucky and um, very appreciative beneficiaries of the Stuff a Truck. Mm -hmm. So Lori's, Lori's idea uh, a couple years ago has grown to be this fantastic community-wide food drive that just absolutely fills the food pantry to overflowing. Mm -hmm. How does Make a Difference Day fit in with the commission and the chamber's um, missions? Um, well, I think for the commission, for the city, it, it's, you know, uh, very, very clear because um, it is the Community Relations Commission, mm -hmm. and so it is about uh, interacting with the community, being sort of the... Um, you know, there's the city council, and and then um, there's the community, and being that liaison uh, voice, you know, um, and participant for uh, between those two bodies, I guess, is mm -hmm. really how we see ourselves, and um, and so we could respond to questions. You know, there could be a lot of ways that our commission could be used, mm -hmm. but you talk about make a difference day. Um, as you know, again, one of the things that we took on uh, 12 years ago as a commission, and um, you, you know how how that has grown and the different. They've done a lot of different things over the years um, for mm -hmm. Make a Difference Day. Okay. Um, they've uh, you know started with I, you know, uh, gosh, I don't even know the full history of everything that they've mm -hmm. done. But we did a job makes a difference um, mm -hmm. one year where we had, an, uh, this was in 2008, mm -hmm. when things were really starting, or 2009, right in there, where things were really starting, the economy was really starting to mm -hmm. um, to change, and people were being more and more impacted by, um, you know, the job, you know, being out of work or right. underemployed, and so we came up with this idea of um, giving them some, some pointers on how to conduct job search, how to write a resume, how mm -hmm. to use social media in your job search. So the, the, the Community Relations Commission has um, continue to look for ways in which to, again, serve the community and help the community and make a difference day just gives us a good reason to do that, you know. Okay. 
And it's not just a local event. This is part of a national That's volunteering true. effort. That's true. Make a Difference Day is um, the National Day of Doing Good, mm -hmm. uh, which actually it is 22 years old. Okay. And um, it was started by USA Weekend, USA Today Weekend Magazine, mm -hmm. um, and the Points of Light Foundation, and uh, and actually um, through um, in very large part with Stuff a Truck, and and but uh, the overall activities that the city of Wheaton has done for Make a Difference Day, we won a national award from those organizations and mm -hmm. Newman's own in 2010, mm -hmm. um, recognizing, uh, you know, our, the Wheaton community and um, the organizations that have uh, supported Make a Difference Day over the years, really. And that came with a $10,000 check that was eventually presented to PRC. That so was great. The city. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's really... Quite a coup for the really, commission and yeah. the city. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, an unexpected blessing. I mm -hmm. mean, really, not why we do it, but right. wow, what a great thing, you mm -hmm. know. Okay. So. Um, now, this year there was a Thanks a Ton Festival. There is was a Thanks correct? Ton. Thanks yes. Correct tons. name. Okay, Thanks Ton thanks Festival. Tons. Yes. How is that um, worked into Stuff a Truck? Right, okay. So, um, so Stuff a Truck, uh, you know, started, this was our fourth year, and um, really, again, looking for a way to sort of engage the chamber businesses and chamber members in a philanthropic effort, and so we um, came up with this idea of how we're going to do a food drive, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so the first year was, you know, we we did do a food drive, mm -hmm. and we had chamber, we had boxes at chamber businesses, you know, and um, the chambers, you know, got their customers and their employees to to bring in food, and then we went around and collected all the food um, on Make a Difference Day, mm -hmm. and then we had a very small gathering, I would say, at mm -hmm. um, what was Hubble. Uh, was Wheaton Central since I went there. <laughs> I want to call it Wheaton Central, um, but uh, Hubble Middle School, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, you know just sort of celebrated the the whole month long food drive. Okay. And so um, that sort of continued to grow, just like the food yeah. collection continued to grow, yeah. and we uh, continued to go back to Hubble and um, and have this uh, what it turned into sort of a festival free. Yeah festival where chamber businesses could come out and bring a game um, mm -hmm. that they created and bring prizes that they bring, you know, that they mm -hmm. give, um, and inviting the community to come out and bring food and be, you know, be part of Make a Different Stay in mm -hmm. this way. So just sort of a celebration. Well, um, of course, you know, you can't just sit on your laurels, so you got to keep <laughs> thinking about different things to do and more fun things to do. Mm -hmm. So we did decide to really give it a name and um, this year, and it really is about thanking um, the businesses in the community for, uh, and, and when I say businesses, I mean the city, and I mean the schools, and I yeah. mean the park district, and, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the chamber businesses, you know, for coming out and um, and giving of their time throughout the month of October it, through advertising the food drive through um, engaging again their you know the students which we you know which just yeah. were huge this year in <laughs> and getting uh, and just getting involved in, in really showing um, you know the heart of Wheaton you know and so we thought heck you know let's just call it thanks this thanks tons because we're collecting tons of yep. food right. and yeah. just thanks tons for for doing this and being part of this and um, and then the businesses can come out and um, thank them as well, the community for you know helping them continue to to um, prosper in, in especially hard times. So, so when people came out, what did they see at the oh, festival? Oh gosh, um, a few things. Yeah. Some so uh, again, you know, historically, um, we've been at Hubble, mm -hmm. and so this year, uh, you know, there was the announcement well, was like whenever, but um, that uh, Hubble had been sold. Mm -hmm. and that Mariano's was coming in, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone was thrilled. You know, the park <laughs> district was thrilled, the, the school district was thrilled, um, the mayor was thrilled, you know, and I was like, no, we're not going to be able to have our event there because they're going to be tearing down, and, and so I was not thrilled, you know, um, from that perspective. And so uh, we, um, we thought it through, and... Uh, IIT stepped up mm -hmm. and said, you know what, you could do it here. 
and I said, okay, you know, here's, uh, you know, I had to think that through a little bit. I was like centrally located, Roosevelt, Maine, you know, south, moving it sort of south side. Mm -hmm. um, and the more I thought about it, the more I liked it. You know, mm -hmm. I was like, gosh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens downtown. You know, this is fabulous. We're yep. going to move it there, and they're right on that, you know, uh, East Loop Drive, so it's a nice right. curve. It's very visible. They had a huge green, I mean, huge. W you know, we didn't really, when we first thought about it, we didn't realize how big their grassy mm -hmm. area was mm -hmm. compared to Hubble. It's bigger. Yeah. It's huge, you know. And, um, and then the partnership with IIT just was beyond you know what I could have dreamed of I mean they let us store food there we yes. did we stuffed bags with flyers for the parade when we really kind of you know kicked off and wanted people to know that we're moving locations and which is always hard mm -hmm. when you do an is event the yeah. 4th of July parade and so the 4th of July parade that ended up being on Labor Day parade <laughs> which uh, we really appreciate <laughs> that <laughs> that's much closer to stuff and truck <laughs> and so if you want to consider that for all time we love that because we could you know, the flyer then telling people about it was more in, you know, top of mind mm -hmm. at the, um, you know, in September going to October than July. So we were excited about that, too. And we used that opportunity. And so we mm -hmm. stuffed these um, recyclable grocery bags that have okay. kind of become a little bit of our trademark, yes. I think, um, that have been supplied by Central DuPage Hospital, Cadence Health, and um, Community Bank. So they gave us, um, they donated 10,000 bags. We stuffed these bags with flyers. We passed half of them out at the um, parade, mm -hmm. letting people know about the, the change of location and about what's happening and about mm -hmm. the festival. Really wanting to get people out there and you know and, and with their kids and just having a, a nice day. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we went to uh, the schools with the bags mm -hmm. and gave. Yeah. I mean, any school that wanted them, and there were, I don't know how many, but I would say. 10 schools yeah. wow. or more that yeah. said drop off bags. Huh. So I was like toting around 800, <laughs> 800 bags to this school, 400 bags to this uh, school, mm -hmm. you know, 250 mm -hmm. bags to Jefferson Preschool. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just totally fun. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they would take those bags and give them to the kids, and the kids would fill them with food and bring them back to um, the schools. And then on Make a Difference Day, we went around, uh, or actually the Friday, because they were closed on Saturday. But because mm -hmm. Make a Difference Day is always the fourth Saturday of every okay. October mm -hmm. and so we try to have everything really um, converge on that day except for the schools, schools and some businesses that aren't open then we, we we will allow them to give their food on that <laughs> day. but um, and so uh, Friday the schools we went around to the schools with um, two men in a truck which is one of the chamber members and they were fantastic too and they gave us a big moving van and then we mm -hmm. went around to the different schools and collected all the food and then brought it to IIT who then allowed us to fill up their back room to I mean just it just filled their back room with blue bags <laughs> yes <laughs> with blue bags Very of food cool. and they really IIT again I just can't say enough about how supportive they were throughout the whole event the day of the event mm -hmm. he's like you need an extension cord I got an extension cord yeah. you need a dolly I got a dolly <laughs> you know and this was Tim you know yeah. the um, facilities guy at IIT he was just in and Pam Stella too the um, who really is our liaison with the chamber who you know suggested it and it worked out is beautiful like I said so and do people come to the festival and drop off food there as well yes so then um, so I'm still drawing a picture you know so <laughs> then we went to uh, so we we're collecting all this food we have all of this food and then the day of the event comes and the chamber businesses come out set up their booths and we've of course invited um, you know uh, the community to, to come to this festival mm -hmm. and also bring food so we have the um, park district in the past has been very involved mm -hmm. um, they first of all they this year they um, gave us a truck for the parade so that was the truck and it worked out perfect yep. because it was a truck and a trailer which we didn't realize we'd need but mm -hmm. we needed <laughs> and we um, you know so we were passing running back and forth passing out bags at the parade and then um, but they've always given us uh, a couple of trucks to fill with food they're big, you know, dump truck type things mm -hmm. to fill with food mm -hmm. on the day of the event. Well, okay. this year we had so much food that was, you know, already that we had picked up from the chamber businesses and the schools on um, Friday and Saturday, and then that people were bringing mm -hmm. that Melissa's like, like we're an hour into it maybe, yes. and she said, 
I'm going to go and do a run. So <laughs> she took the trucks with and then came back, filled them up again, took them back again. So we yeah. had to do... That's how much food we had this year. We yeah. had. We, they came back three times, I believe. Three times to, to get food at, and, at IIT. You know, it, it, it's hard to imagine, but that's just packed. And mm -hmm. then, and then we had more uh, yeah. deliveries of just through vans and pickup trucks and other people's cars. Do too. you have any sort of estimate of how much you ended up with? We do. The big we, number. Um, we do. <laughs> well, we are saying forty thousand tons. Wow. Pounds. The or, forty thousand tons. Did I say tons? Yeah. Yeah. Forty thousand okay, pounds. I know I dream big, but uh, no, Next it's year. forty thousand <laughs> pounds of food, and um, but it, you know I want to um, something a little bit different this year. I think that really got us to that number because of course last year we got ten thousand pounds of food, which I thought was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I was so excited mm -hmm. about that number. And, um, and then I was talking with Kim Perez, and I was talking with Melissa, and I'm like, so tell me, so 10,000 pounds of food, how long will that last? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, that'll, that'll be a week. I'm like, what? Wow. A week? Amazing. I'm thinking like a half a year, you know? Like, huh. I really did not get it how, first of all, when you're serving 33,000 plus families, mm -hmm. and the need, again, that is out there, you know, just because of the shift in the economy, you know, people mm -hmm. that had never really expected to be having to go to a food pantry have have to go to a food pantry, mm -hmm. and so um, so then that was last year when I heard that, and I was like, that's it, we're we're going for a whole month. We need forty thousand pounds because mm -hmm. um, November is the the busiest, busiest month for the yeah. PRC. Mm -hmm. okay. So I thought, gosh, what if the chamber. Um, along with all the other groups that support this this event, stuff a truck, mm -hmm. could say, you know, we've got November handled yeah. for PRC. You don't have to worry about November because Melissa doesn't sleep well when the shelves are bare. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. They, she yeah. doesn't. No, I don't. You're right. <laughs> so just uh, let her sleep at the you know the holiday time. Right. We feel good about that. Yeah. So if we can just, and that's really the ongoing goal is mm -hmm. to just have them know that we have November handled. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so we collect food this year and we did up the ante and yep. we got to 40,000 but 26,000 of it was actual yes. food. Wow. That's There's sweet. that other 14,000 which was money. So okay. one of the other things I learned this year, did not know, was that for every um, five dollars that someone donates, mm -hmm. it equates to 28 pounds of food. Hmm. So once I heard that, I'm like, oh my gosh. That's and the hard. other thing is the yeah. power of money. You know, yes. um, we bring the food in in November and it's gone in November, but that money they can say, hey, wait a second, you know, we could use some more fresh vegetables here yeah. to help out for the turkey dinners mm -hmm. or, you know, or we can take that into December or February mm -hmm. when it's another hard time mm -hmm. to collect food, you know. And so, um, so the money so I had talked to the school district when I went to meet with the PTA council about, you know, because I just learned that fact. Mm -hmm. And I thought, gosh, you know, if we focused on money, we could really get to 40,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, not just the food yeah. collection and the food drive, which is awesome and fun, um, but also focusing on bringing in uh, that $5 equals 28 pounds of food yes. idea. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so that's an area that, you know, going forward that I really want to continue to um, engage some of our larger organizations in the okay. city around and and getting more of that that um, idea out there because mm -hmm. um, it, it really it just so quickly goes from 26 to 40 you know yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, so we had some really uh, interesting um, things uh, I have to mention so I went to the PTA council I talked to the schools about it and one of the schools they heard it and they got it you know uh, was Lincoln Mm -hmm. And so their um, head of their PTA council uh, came up with this idea called um, Outweigh Mr. O'Day. Mm -hmm. So Mr. O'Day is their PE teacher. Yes. And I've gotten different numbers about how much he actually weighs from 190 <laughs> to 210. Uh -huh. So, you know, um, I think he'd like to say it's closer to that 190, <laughs> but who knows, you know. But, you, you know. He's very fit. So he, um, so they decided they're going to collect coins, and they went every week, and they'd weigh him, you know, they'd weigh the coins, <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, we're not quite there. We're at 130 pound, you know, pounds uh -huh. of coins, and he's 197, let's say. You know, so that went back and forth, and they eventually collected, um, they, uh, they, they outweighed him by, mm -hmm. and it, I, I'm trying to remember, 
I know that um, it was it ended up equating to uh, nineteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So wow. you take nineteen hundred dollars, divide it by five, times mm -hmm. it by twenty eight. You've got mm -hmm. a pretty significant amount of food buying power. Just from kids at one. Just school. from kids collecting coins from their parent mom's yeah. purse. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? In their dad's pockets and. Um, and so, and then, you know, the other great thing was another local business, Wheaton uh, Bank and Trust, then matched up to 500. So they gave an additional $500. So mm -hmm. then we're at $2,400 yeah. divided by five times 28. Right. You, do the, the, you do the math, right? <laughs> so, some graphics going up there. I do, yeah. <laughs> but um, so that was really fun. I'm trying to think about, um, you know, we had a lot of schools, like I said, that gave. Yeah. Um, that collected food, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, we had the student council at Monroe collecting food, we had um, uh, Edison always, this is the second year, they do their monster dash, it's called, mm -hmm. on Make a Difference Day, and so they tell the kids, come out, run, run a lap down, they have like a, a path in the back or side and back of um, Edison that they call the monster, you know, because <laughs> it's, it's about a mile, I would say, and so they, you know, come out, run the, run the monster, and donate food and then they decorate this truck with like a big mouth so it's like a monster mouth and then people throw their food in there and so that was another and so the schools I mean I think that's the I personally you know when you're talking about doing good or giving mm -hmm. back you know mm -hmm. one of the best things about it is how creative you can be in yeah. mm -hmm. doing something like that like you know it, it, it can be so fun you know right. it's more like fun you know you, you're helping a good cause mm -hmm. that's good in, in and of itself, but then that, you know, and there's opportunities, you know, for the kids to take leadership roles, mm -hmm. and so it's just really um, cool that way, too, and um, I don't know, I'm trying to think what other uh, collections for schools, um, I know the Student Council at Monroe, I may have mentioned that, mm -hmm. but Sandberg did a, a stuff a truck collection, Washington did a stuff a truck collection, Whittier did soup cans um, collection, uh, Weesburg did a food collection, and they are always they are always very organized. That school's organized. <laughs> They've got packaged in boxes, and they're you know they really like, like last year. I remember they each class like decorated their own food box, you know, mm -hmm. and then we had boxes and boxes of beautifully. You didn't want to destroy the boxes because they were so cool, you know. Before we go into a couple yeah. more projects, Melissa, can you just um, kind of tell the impact this has for your organization? Just getting forty thousand. Um, pounds of food. It's, um, it's incredible. It comes at such a great time. I mean, it, it really is a month's worth of food that we would normally have to go out and purchase. Um, what, what it usually ends up being is it, it's, it absolutely fills the food pantry to overflowing, which means that every family that uses the food pantry, more than 3,000 in the month of November alone mm. that use the food pantry, um, get to go home with an overflowing cart of food. Mm. It's, it's truly, it really does make a difference. And if you want to re get right down to, you know, using the words of the day, right. that's what right. it is. Um, and it means so much to families that are struggling. That, mm -hmm. that just, you know, that, that $150 worth of groceries that, that they don't have to go to the store and buy, it means such a difference to them in their, in their daily life. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, it, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And have you seen, um, as far as traffic coming in, is, is there still... A great number of people in this area that are needing food and needing your services. Yeah, I, I, I think the economy is um, recovering a little. It, it is starting to recover. I think the families that were hardest hit, it's going to take them longer to get out of it mm -hmm. because they've dug into a hole so deeply. They've they've eaten up every bit of savings. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have any resources yet. They've borrowed from family and friends, and so they're they're very far down. And so for them to get back up to where they may have been before the recession started, mm -hmm. it's going to take a while. And they're still going to need to use those services, the emergency food pantries and, and the social service agencies around the community. Mm -hmm. I think maybe there's a misconception that in DuPage County, which is a really generally affluent mm -hmm. county, um, that there isn't such a need for this, but the organization really shows that there is. A absolutely, and that really is one of the, um, the things that I spend a good deal of my time is explaining to people that there's about 100 and 25,000 people in DuPage County that, that really are struggling every day, that they are living on a very low income. Um, and, and so that's a lot of people, 125,000. Mm -hmm. so, to think that we aren't wealthy, a lot of us, a lot of people are wealthy and we have a lot, and it's a very generous community, but we also need to think of those others that are struggling every day. Mm -hmm. 
This is great that this event can kind of bring together right. um, the Wheaton community and yes. an organization that it directly benefits. You can see the outcome of Absolutely. all those organizations. Right. right. Uh, there are some other neat projects, I think. Well, you know, for make, a, make a Difference Day in general, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, when the Community Relations Commission, you know, started Make a Difference Day, or as it's evolved, probably, is it really is, we just tell people, do something and make a difference mm -hmm. day. Make a difference mm -hmm. day, make a difference somehow on, in someone's day or some organization's day. Mm -hmm. So um, as simple as raking leaves for your next door neighbor, we would put that on the city website. I mean, that's mm -hmm. good. You know, you, uh -huh. you decide to do that. So we encourage organizations, clubs, you know, families, individuals to be creative, think of something to do for make a difference day and make a difference, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, um, the uh, some of the fun things besides stuff a truck and that you mm -hmm. know again we've talked a lot about how stuff a truck came out of that mm -hmm. idea um, but there are plenty of other things the city itself has done different drives over the years um, for uh, and this year I'm I love this uh, idea love it love it um, several years ago I want to say in 08 um, the city and uh, adopted a the um, I call them the vanguards. They're a division of uh, a battalion, part of the big red one, which is a much uh, very old and um, honored uh, uh, troop, you know, army mm -hmm. troop. I, I don't army know division. Division. <laughs> I don't know all those, uh, those, I don't know, battalion, troop, division. But, um, and so we adopted them, and this year we, um, and I think going forward this, this could be it, um, is we are supporting that troop, and they're out of Fort Riley, Kansas, mm -hmm. and um, they're unique in that it's um, the only thing that's really consistent with them uh, as compared to other troops is the chaplain. So, um, and the reason that is, is because these are individuals that were taken from other troops and they come together for a period of time, usually a year, mm -hmm. I think. They get some special training, they, they go on some special missions, Mm -hmm. um, and then they come back, and then they they go out again to their original troop, as, okay. as I understand it. And so, um, and and so that is disruptive, I think, emotionally for the soldiers because you you come into boot camp with your family, so to speak, and then you kind of get moved out of it, mm -hmm. and um, your families get moved out of that area mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. and their connections there, and then you go back, but those people have had different experiences than you mm -hmm. for a period of time, okay. and so um, and so we wanted to give them like, we're here for you, we are your consistent, mm -hmm. you know, consistency. Mm -hmm. And um, so Wheaton has adopted them, and this year we're doing a collection for the 834 soldiers, or we have done a collection for 834 soldiers and 39 um, children mm -hmm. that are part of these, mm -hmm. this group. And we collected, um, you know, well, first of all, really cool is we've got um, these T-shirts that have the city seal on them. It says, Wheaton loves the vanguards. Mm -hmm. And we took that and we rolled them up with Tic Tacs and beef jerky and, you know, candy. PRC actually had an overload of, um, of sweets, of mm -hmm. uh, candy corns, which I just love, <laughs> and overload of these candy corns. So we added those to the T-shirt to the and we shipped, we got um, UPS and Cantini to uh, work together and, and get it all shipped for us to mm -hmm. The families before the troops actually deploy, which is in February of 2013, they are going are set to deploy. So okay. we wanted to get that yeah. to them, that care package to them and their families before that happened. That's, so that was project. a really, really, really cool, fun project. That, mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, I think it really uh, tapped into something that we feel is very. Um, for the Community Relations Commission, um, you know, part of, again, what we're charged with, you mm -hmm. know, citizens mm -hmm. and make a difference day. Um, and we also are cultural diversity and we're military. You know, we have these mm -hmm. different things that we try to um, focus on and we were able to use our military side of things and, and put it in with make a difference day and, yeah. and do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, some other things, let's kick diabetes. A really fun make a difference day uh, effort. Um, Young girl, Shannon Moran, 12 years old, this summer, past summer, went to the Julie Foudy um, Leadership Academy, which is really, Julie, Julie Foudy played uh, soccer for the U.S. Um, soccer team. She was on mm -hmm. the team for like 
eight, ten years, something like that. When they, won, she, the Olympics. When they won the Olympics. And she has a leadership academy in uh, Oak Brook. And so you go and you practice your soccer or lacrosse skills mm -hmm. as uh, young girls, and they teach you, these young girls, these, um, you know, training, and or like leadership training, and at the same time, char you know, kind of challenge the girls, whoever wants to, to come back to your community and do some sort of a project. Mm -hmm. And so her father, our grandfather, had passed away a couple of years ago from type 1 diabetes, and so she decided that she wanted to do something in his honor on Make a Difference Day. And so she did. Some, she came up with this whole idea. She did a website. She had T-shirts for the first like <laughs> 200 people to join, and um, she had a you know a soccer so, let's kick diabetes soccer um, uh, event. I guess I would call it okay. uh, where anyone could come out who signed up and you made a little donation. And she ended mm -hmm. up getting. I want to say, okay, now I might be wrong on this. Um, I want to say over five thousand dollars. Wow! Wow! That she raised huh. for the uh, Di Juvenile Diabetes Association, mm -hmm. D Diabetes Foundation, and um, so if you were out there that day, you would have seen kids um, having a dribbling contest over here, have a uh, or juggling, or I'm, my daughter, always, she's on the same soccer team with her, and she's always <laughs> like, "Lori, mom, it's not." Juggling, it's dribbling, or it's not dribbling, it's juggling, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, and they did, uh, then they just did pickup games, and it was fun, and mm -hmm. it was at us, and so, and I think it was a, it just a really cute idea. Mm -hmm. um, we had collections for the soldiers, so I think we talked about, for Midwest um, Veterans mm -hmm. uh, Shelter. Okay. Um, Jefferson Preschool did a collection for them. Mm -hmm. um, going down my list. Um, Johnson Elementary helped the city with their care packages for the battalion, mm -hmm. for the vanguards, um, as did Lowell Elementary, um, and I know there was something else. Um, There's an Adams Park cleanup. There was the Adams Park yeah. cleanup. Oh, for the schools. Let me just say one more thing was the mm -hmm. um, trick-or-treat for the hungry. And, yes. And Emerson just decided to do something very, very local and, and to help families that go to Emerson Mm -hmm. that are in need and so they got dressed up in costumes and they trick-or-treated for food in their neighborhood oh, and they good. get they had yeah. got a pretty nice haul so huh. I thought that was a great idea yeah um, so that you know again from the school's perspective and then other things we of course um, uh, I don't know how many years this has been going on but the Adams Park cleanup mm -hmm. which is just a fun group of people because they're right across the street from the chamber so as we're working for stuff a truck like the chamber um, you know, we're getting people off to go collect food and stuff like that. We're also talking to um, to the Adams Park people as they really make that park beautiful, and mm -hmm. that has become an annual event for them to um, to clean it up. And and you know, it's such a showcase, you know, by the library, mm -hmm. and and so um, you know, it feels so good to to watch them do that. Um, what else we had? Uh, there's the um, Women's Department Club of Wheaton. Which is a small it, the women's department club is an organization that's been around for like over a hundred years. It's a na national organization that mm -hmm. no one's ever heard of, right? At least me. <laughs> Maybe shouldn't say that, right? <laughs> but um, but really, you know, and, and uh, but they their group here in Wheaton that have been uh, uh, these these women have been together for I don't I gotta say forty fifty years. I mean, mm -hmm. and they're they are making they make stockings that they send to Operation Supporter Troops. And so they work with the city okay. and they make the stockings themselves and then they stuff the stockings and then mm -hmm. we help with them um, getting it all delivered over to Operation Supporter Troops which are then ship on their dime, you know, to, mm -hmm. to soldiers and families. So that's I think great. that's great that they've been doing that the last few years. Um, mm -hmm. And then the Wheaton chapter of the Infant Welfare Society of Chicago did a uh, crayon collection. So for crayons for kids, you know, which Very is nice. also, again, really important. So I think we had a lot of mm -hmm. um, different, creative, fun mm -hmm. ways to participate and make a difference stay and, um, you know, get involved and feel good. <laughs> yeah, and so. really personal to whomever was uh, right. was giving right. back to right. the meeting, something right. that meant something to you, which was exactly what the commission was going for. It's exactly what the commission was going for, is that, you know, it is um, we you know we we list these activities on the website and if if you're drawn to helping the troops we have a way for you to do that if you're mm -hmm. drawn to feeding the hungry we have a way for you to do that mm -hmm. you know if you want to do something for kids we have a way for you to do that mm -hmm. you know so it really is um, been more than what we ever expected but uh, so easy and so fun and you know uh, 
just um, really brings, I think, so many of the different pieces of Wheaton together. And, uh, and I think that was the whole mission yeah. behind what the USA Weekend Magazine and, and Points of Life Foundation was, you know, trying to do was, you know, it, it just, there's always that underlying common um, trait that people want to help people, you know, mm -hmm. and okay. so getting that. Yeah, and I, chance to happen. if you look on the city's website in the commission section, the Community Relations Commission, there is a listing of, I believe, everyone that you heard from, um, that the commission heard from that participated. If my counting was right, I think it was about 107, 107 different organizations. organizations and then a number well. of individuals also yep. that got involved, which was is pretty amazing. Yep. And we probably missed people. You know, mm -hmm. you know. I'm thinking those, you are know, those who reported. The that's those yeah. are who reported because yeah. you know you just think about the chamber businesses and the and there were so many kids. I mean, we had Wheaton Wings involved. We had you know um, Wheaton Rams. We had Wheaton Rams cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. You know, so they were doing collections yeah. and you know you didn't list. You know, it was just fantastic. Yeah. So what about next year? Well, this about <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, well, too we're early to start. Year. Thinking Not too that. early. Never too early. I mean, again, I think from the Community Relations Commission, we have other things that we're um, are are working on besides make a difference day. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the Citizens of the Year um, coming up. We also are looking at, and uh, I hate to say this out loud, but I have to even though it may not happen, but I would say 90% we're hoping to do some sort of a food truck um, event. So mm -hmm. we're, again, oh. it's around cultural diversity. Got That's it. one of the things. Okay. And so you'd have food trucks come out. We, um, a couple of the people from the commission went downtown Chicago and visited WTTW, did a mm -hmm. big food truck thing, mm -hmm. where food trucks came out and sam you got to see, you bought a ticket and you got to sample different. Um, mm -hmm. And so we thought we want to do that and, and really, um, focus on the cultural diversity you talk about mm -hmm. here in DuPage County and in the changing landscape and um, and really the breadth and depth of um, variety I guess in in culture yep. that we can really highlight so that's something we're, we're looking at you know mm -hmm. however we do it food truck ideas you know my personal favorite and <laughs> um, but however we do it we want to do something like that um, and uh, so I'm trying to think. I think there's one more thing that community relations is besides those, but that we're working on. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, you know, for Make a Difference Day, um, the chamber will continue with Stuff a Truck. I'll continue okay. to chair. <laughs> I will. I will continue to chair that event. And um, we really are, like I said, uh, going to continue with collecting just mounds and mounds and mounds of food. So so our friend Melissa can take a nap mm -hmm. and then um, but at the same time really trying to uh, encourage people to you know five dollars equals 28 pounds of food mm -hmm. and gives them the power that uh, the buying power they need to, to fill in gaps all year right, and if we can really yeah. you know really have um, that be part of our mission for the Chambers Stuff a Truck event mm -hmm. uh, you know and, and it will be you know then um, the mission accomplished Okay, so next year in October, I'm sure by October the information will be up on the city's website, and yep. Yep. people can be looking oh, forward to another. Pretty yeah, soon <laughs> well. say, we start meeting pretty soon because you know, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty r runs very smoothly. Yeah. It really does run smoothly, but there's always a lot of little plates that you're spinning that you're making mm -hmm. sure everyone remembers the day and remembers, you know, mm -hmm. what they can do. Okay. Well, I really appreciate both of you coming and congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank both you. Of your thank you. Organizations, all your involvement. Thank you. This is a great success. Yeah. And thanks, thanks. to Wheaton. Yeah. I mean, thanks to the community for really supporting mm -hmm. this. this. It's a wonderful place to be. Yeah. You guys made the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Thank you.